Hi, I'm Samantha Sinavaratna, and today I'm going to show you how to make cinnamon raisin soft pretzels. This recipe comes from my book, The Joys of Baking. It's so good that I'm going to use my last packet of yeast. It's worth it. The first step is to have three quarters of a cup of warm water. I'm going to proof my yeast in that water. It's one packet, which is about two and a quarter teaspoons. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this brown sugar, just to give the yeast a little something to feed on. This is also a good way to make sure that your yeast is still fresh enough to use. So we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And in the meantime, I can get my dry ingredients ready. So that's three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and the remaining from that quarter cup of dark brown sugar. And meet me back here when you're foamy. <laughs> my yeast is nice and foamy, so I can add it to my flour mixture. Now you could do this in a stand mixer if you have one, but I don't at the moment, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. And I'm gonna mix this into a shaggy dough. Let's see? And once it comes together, I can work in my four tablespoons of room temperature butter. And you want to build up a little bit of the gluten before you add the butter to make a nice chewy pretzel. Okay, so I'm gonna knead this for about three minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here's my dough after about two or three minutes of kneading. You can see it's still pretty rough and shaggy, but that's no big deal because once I add the butter, it's gonna smooth right out. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back into my bowl just to make it a little easier. Four tablespoons of room temperature butter. You can sort of smoosh it in a little at a time. It's gonna feel like it's not getting in there at first, but the more you work it, the more it'll get in there. Trust me. I wanna show you this dough. It's really rough and shaggy and looks like a total mess. <laughs> but if you just keep working it, it will get smooth. If you have a bench scraper handy, that's a really good tool to get under the dough and lift it up. If you don't, you just have to give it a little elbow grease. No big deal. It's actually kind of therapeutic in a way. <laughs> and I totally forgot to add my raisins. So I'm just gonna add them right now and knead it into the dough. No harm done. <laughs> Some of them might escape. Okay, I've been kneading this dough for about five minutes and she looks a lot smoother. She is going to smooth out even further after she rests. So into a buttered bowl for about an hour until she doubles in size. Then punch her down and wrap her up and put her in the fridge for another overnight rest. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay, I'm back. My dough has rested overnight. It's nice and cold, which means it's really easy to work with. I need to cut it now into 10 equal pieces. If you have a scale, that's a great thing to use right now. I do not, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, I, there's something about cutting dough that's so fun. Okay, 10 equal pieces. Oops, I should have done five. Three, four, five. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna start with half for now. So now you want to roll each ball, each piece, into a 16 to 18 inch rope. Um, the raisins sort of cause it to break apart a little, but just smoosh it back together and it's no big deal. Roll it from the inside out. That makes the strip pretty even. Like that. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Now I'll show you how to shape it. You want to make a U and cross over and twist <laughs> and then put it down. <laughs> that doesn't work. I have to show you flat. When you have all your dough rolled out, it's time for shaping. So you make a U, cross it over, twist it over again, 
and it's a pretzel. Do it again. Make a U, cross it over, twist it, pretzel. Once all of your dough is shaped, transfer your pretzels to two lined baking sheets, cover them lightly with plastic and let them puff up a little for about 25 minutes. The next step is to boil our pretzels and that's gonna give it that nice burnish brown exterior and give it that texture that you just know is a pretzel. Traditionally, you would cook your pretzels in a little bit of lye, but lye is very dangerous and I don't have any. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of brown sugar and some baking soda, a third of a cup of baking soda in my boiling water. And that's gonna give it that sort of classic pretzel flavor. Okay, to my pot, I'm just gonna add one pretzel. We're just boiling them for about 30 seconds a side. I think I'm gonna add maybe three or four at one go. You wanna crowd the pan. And now I'll flip it. Spider is a really useful tool right now, <laughs> but I'm using this little spatula. It's all right. Like that for another 30 seconds, and then we'll transfer them back to our sheet. I'm actually using an oiled sheet because I didn't have any parchment, but that'll be just fine. Now these go into a 425 degree oven until they are puffed and golden about 15 to 18 minutes. So the last step we have our beautiful finished pretzels. We're just going to brush them with a little butter and dip them in some cinnamon sugar. And Arthur here is going to help me. Are you gonna help me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's good, baby. Okay. Now you want, oh, that's a lot of butter. You wanna dip them in cinnamon sugar? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, pretty good. Should we do another one? Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Dude. Hey, let's brush. You wanna brush them in, with butter? Yeah. Yeah, here, use your clean hand. Left-handed though. That's okay. Good. <laughs> nice work, baby. Okay. Do you want to eat a pretzel? 